Of course, we're not done discovering Mars yet, and for that we have a new robotic friend, the Valkyrie. We want to get to Mars. Likely NASA will send robots uh, ahead of the astronauts to the planet. Uh, these, these robots will start preparing, uh, preparing the way for the human explorers. And when the humans arrive, the robots and the humans will work together in conjunction, uh, building uh, HABs, laying foundation, um, and, and just working together in that, in that tight relationship. So technologies such as Valkyrie are going to really lead into the, the type of robotic systems that will one day be the precursor missions uh, before the astronauts go to Mars. Really strong and powerful robot, superhero robot, glowing NASA meatball. What more would you want? So Valkyrie ha is powered by a battery backpack. It can walk on its own. And it obviously has some designs qualities to it that evoke Iron Man and a woman. Just say it. Damn! Shut up! <laughs> robot got a rack on it. Tim. And some wide birthing hips. No, Tim. I'm just saying. Tim. I like a curvy robot. <laughs> so while I am impressed that they actually were able to make a robot that walks around on, on two feet, uh, it doesn't seem like the most practical thing, seeing how slow it was. It was slow. Just taking that one step. And the fact that it only has an hour of battery life. Right, exactly. The, the, it seems like probably it's a step in the right direction, but well, it's not something that's really practical to be, at this to, point. To clarify, this was uh, submitted to the DARPA robotics competition, not this is we're going to exactly send this to Mars. This is more of a prototype at this point. Now, was this competition started because of the meltdown in Japan and their inability to like clean up the nuclear danger zone with with people, how dangerous that was. I, I believe that's what started this like robotics competition, is we need robots to be able to do this, and as of right now, robots can't. So let's get on this, guys. Well, this also uh, harkens to our, our the purpose of Valkyrie, which is to, to explore where and when humans can't explore yet, uh, but in a humanoid way. Now it's it it's gonna go to Mars, so you don't have to die there. Aren't you happy? Well, I mean, I would go to Mars to die there. I understand the humanoid thing in the perspective of what they were saying about humans and robots working together because if you're you know in a limited group on Mars you probably want the robots to be relatable in some way and well they, they also have cloth clothing on them to help them uh, I guess well t on one part to survive the elements but also to uh, make them more appealing to people like if we, if we brush up against get, it in the lab, it's am. like, oh my, sorry, <laughs> I, my elbow touched you there, Valkyrie. Well, I was hoping to talk about exploration on Mars, but let's talk about fucking robots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, that, that's why they put the cloth on it. So our robot is soft. If you brush against it while you're working, you know, you don't want to feel this cold, hard metal. You'd be working next to another human being, essentially. Okay. With boobs. No. They put them on there. <laughs> It wasn't my decision. I think there's something under there. It reminded me of the Boston Dynamics. They have like a bipedal robot, but they also have that dog robot that's like super the impressive. Big dog. Big dog. That it's is like really terrifying. fast and it carries stuff. and you can't knock it over. It looks like something I've shot in Mass Effect. But that, I mean, that reminds me, I mean, you just said it, the robot is terrifying. Yes. Right. Like if you were like in a burning building and that thing came barging in to save you, that's intimidating. I might run away from I'd that. Run, yeah. I'd run the hell away from but that. If, you know, if a large, supple, you know, <laughs> bipedal robot came walking in, maybe I'd let her carry me to safety. That Very was the point. Very slowly. Very <laughs> slowly. <laughs> While I am asphyxiating.